Hello everyone and welcome to YouTube story. So now let's start working on our ladder climbing tutorial series. So here I have set up the basic ladder using simple cylinders as you guys can see. Now let's start working on our climbing ladder climbing part. First I'm gonna create a new blueprint. The parent class will be my actor and I'm gonna call this ladder so in my ladder blueprint class I'm gonna create a new box collision like so set this is something like 500 or 100 will be fine and I'm gonna create a new arrow component ladder start location so this will be the arrow component will be defined as our ladder start location I'm gonna set hidden in game to false for both box collision and arrow component now let's grab our blueprint and place place it like so. I'm gonna set the box extent in X location to something like 10 units like so. So this will be defined as our start location for our ladder trace. Now let's set up the logic for logic for start clamping to the ladder. So here is my character blueprint class. This is a simple third person character blueprint and in my event crop I'm gonna search for F keyboard when I press F I wanna perform the ladder climbing functionality. First I'm gonna sphere trace by channel like so and the get my actor location also get my actor rotation start location will be my actor location and the for my end location I'm gonna grab my forward vector multiply the forward vector with something like 100 units and add it to my get actor location I'm gonna set the radius to something like 15 and the draw debug type to for duration now let's check the result so here you guys can see when I press F this fair trace will be working So now let's create a branch over here. If my trace did hit something, then I'm gonna break my hit result. Get my actor component, hit actor, and cast it to ladder. So if the cast is successful, then I'm gonna get my get start location get my arrow component and that will be defined as our start location get my letter start location and then 
move my capsule component to the arrow location and rotation so before moving to the desired location first I'm gonna set my movement mode set movement mode to flying and then I'm gonna set, set the velocity to zero and then I'm gonna move my capsule component to the arrow location and rotation I'm gonna grab my world transform of arrow component set the location and rotation to something like this and set the over time to 0.5 now let's set the arrow location I'm gonna grab my arrow place it something like this and now let's check the result there is something wrong in my code I'm gonna open my letter blueprint so here is my box collision and the collision preset will be is overlap or dynamic I'm gonna set it to custom and set it to ignore all except my visibility and camera and now let's check the functionality again so here you guys can see my character moves to the proper arrow location now I'm gonna open my blueprint here is my world location of arrow component I'm gonna add 90 units in Z axis so this is working properly I'm gonna grab my arrow component and set the location like so so here you guys can see I can properly set my actor location and rotation I can properly set my actor location and rotation according to the arrow component location and rotation so now let's set up the proper animation for our start letter cramming so I'm gonna open my content browser so here is my required animation that I'm gonna use for performing idle to ladder climbing I'm gonna right click on my animation and create a anim montage and set it to start ladder climb like so and I'm gonna go to windows and animation slot manager create a new slot and so I call this ladder climb and set the default slot to ladder climb slot so here is my 
animation montage for performing lateral climb animation is properly set up and now I'm gonna open my animation blueprint so here is my default third person a third person animation blueprint and here is my event graph and I'm gonna just add this functionality over here to cast my get my pawn owner and cast it to the third person character and promote my character to a variable so now I'm gonna open my animation graph and over here I'm gonna search for default slot like so and set the slot name to my ladder climb and now I'm gonna open my third person character blueprint and before move component to the desired location I'm gonna add a sequence node over here and at the first execution pin I'm gonna play any montage the montage will be my start ladder climb and now let's set the result I'm gonna move my ladder start location to like so so my animation montage properly working fine now I'm gonna open my third person character blueprint again and create a new variable and set call my variable to ladder start ladder climb and set my variable to true when my move component is complete set the desired variable to true now I'm gonna open my third person character blueprint and in my event graph here is my character and I'm gonna search for start ladder climb promote this to a variable over here call this ladder climb like so so when my ladder climb variable will be true I'm gonna blend pause by board and the condition will be our ladder climb if my ladder climb will be false I'm gonna perform the default behavior and when my ladder climb will be true I'm gonna grab my ladder idle animation create a new blend space sorry I'm gonna create a new state machine over here for my ladder I'm gonna call this ladder functionality and when my ladder climb variable will be true I'm gonna set my state to idle like so connect the remaining pins over here now let's check the functionality again so here you guys can see my character will be in our ladder idle pause after performing the proper functionality I'm gonna increase the delay increase the blend time to something like 0.25 or 
that's zero will be fine. Yes. Now I'm gonna move my start ladder start location for our ladder to something over here. So here you guys can see my character perform proper animation and enter into ladder climb animation. So I hope you guys like this video and in our next videos we will properly implement our remaining functionality for climb up or climb down to ladder with proper right and left hand accordingly. So thank you guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also you can support me on Patreon. And thank you.